Bem-vindos a mais um episódio do Contacto Goa. Através deste programa temos vindo a visitar os vários conselhos de Goa. Se nas velhas conquistas, ou seja, em Tissuari, Bardês e Salsete, facilmente encontramos vestígios da presença portuguesa, o mesmo não acontece nas novas conquistas. Hoje vamos visitar um conselho que faz parte das novas conquistas, Sanguém, o maior conselho de Goa. Sangue, one of the largest of all 11 talukas in Goa, located in uh, the eastern side of Goa, which is, uh, or the larger portion of Sangue is covered by thick vegetation, which is a part of Western Ghats. Uh, Sangue taluka is totally flanked by natural as well as cultural heritage, which, are, which has got uh, a lot of historical importance as well. The word Sangye has derived from a Sanskrit root Sangampur and the Sangampur is derived from Sangam which means confluence of different rivers. A nossa viagem até Sangye começa em Rivona, num lugar chamado Usagalimol. Aqui encontramos uma rocha esculpida nas margens do rio Cuxabati. Sangue has got a lot of historical importance and the earliest evidence of human habitation in Sangue can be dated back to Mesolithic times, that to around 8000 years before present. Uh, this evidence can be seen in villages like Rivona, where an area Pansaimar was occupied by Mesolithic people and we find rock engravings made on the Kushavati river bed. These rock carvings are engraved on the laterite rock surface, which are more in number, almost 100 in numbers, which consists of Zebubul, which consists of mother goddess, also consists of a labyrinth and other aspects uh, represented through rock carvings of human life. A próxima paragem é a aldeia de Kurdi, que tem um templo muito antigo, o templo de Mahadeva. Provavelmente, Kurdi temple was uh, one of the earliest temples which are surviving even today. This temple was located in a village called Kurli, which is now submerged under Sarawli Dam. And before the construction of dam, this temple was trans transformed from one place to another, a neighboring Sherap area of Sarawli village. And while, con uh, while transforming this temple from one place to another, uh, Archaeological Survey of India documented each and every stone. They numbered them according to the earlier existing plan and they dismantled it and again on the another place they uh, rearranged the entire structure. So, such kind of conservation as well as restoration practice was uh, also prevalent uh, for conservation of heritage as well as historical monuments of Goa. This temple is dedicated to uh, Shiva and which was built during Kadamba time. estes lugares históricos já era interessante, mas tornou-se ainda mais interessante 
quando chegamos a Natravali e vimos um lago borbulhante. Vamos saber como. There is a temple tank called as Budbudachi Tari, which is locally known as Budbudachi Tari because of the uh, continuous coming of bubbles from the water. And these bubbles are coming because of several reasons and there is no <coughs> unanimous uh, agreement among the scholars of when we talk about the reason of this specific phenomena. Uh, there is a belief among scholars that the methane gas comes out from soil and because of this bubble arises. Probably the air which comes from soil or from below the soil, because of that these bubbles are arising into the water. And this unique phenomena was very well utilized by the local people in the vicinity of temple and the construction of temple tank at that particular place shows their understanding of scientific phenomena and their appreciating skills of such scientific phenomena is also reflected through such religious as well as cultural traits of our ancestors. Esta barragem é conhecida como a barragem de Salaulim, de onde a água é tirada para sustentar toda a população do sul de Goa. Perto existe um bonito jardim botânico muito famoso na Taluca de Sangue. Mais tarde pensamos em ir à capital da Taluca de Sangue com o mesmo nome. Sangue é a maior Taluca de Goa, não se podendo observar tanto o desenvolvimento se compararmos com o Pangin, Margão ou Vasco. Mas a vida simples da população e a paisagem verdejante capta a atenção de qualquer um. Mais tarde, chegámos a uma bonita igreja na Taluca de Sangue, a Igreja do Anjo da Guarda da Sauerdem. A sua construção foi terminada em 1887 sob ordens portuguesas. Neste concelho, encontramos muito poucos católicos que se reúnem nesta igreja para a missa.
em São Guardim, enquanto avançávamos, atravessámos uma ponte que nos fez parar por ser tão diferente de tantas outras pontes em Goa. Perguntámos a um jovem sobre esta ponte. Aí já me chamou de Tiscar Old Bridge, a nossa, aí é a bridge aí que cuidado mulher, ou o português tá aí mar bridge banilo, aí o ozon boren bridge bora essa. É o bridge aí, é building, é bridge aí, coisa building na, é bridge aí, coisa é rapid marilha essa. मतलब रैपिड डायरेक्ट अंकचान तो अंगा डायरेक्ट जॉइन जाता अने फुल ऑफ ब्रिज रैपिड आ चेरा सा जो वो जो वो ब्रिज आ कोमिट कोमी दाह हजार तेरे रैपिड अस्तले दाह पंद्रह हजार तेरे रैपिड अस्तले अने एक के बिल्डिंग ना ब्रिज आ ते खाती रो ब्रिज आल पाक से कना अने वो गोटा ब्रिज एक शंभ कई लोग ऐसा आंग जे वो ब्रिज मोड़ पाक सोता और जब ब्रिज मोड़ लो दले यार त्याग साइडी चांद माइनिंग आ कुप्स कोप है ता कुप माइनिंग आ स्कोप है तो मोड़न कुप्स जाने माइनिंग ओनर्स ऐसा ट्रक ओनर ट्रांसपोर्टर तो शेष मोटे मोटे मुनि सावड़ दिच्छे वो ब्रिज उड़ो पास सोता अन्य राच्चे जाले सात आठ एब्रिज़ा के लागू इन सावर डिचे लोग कहाँ कुप से त्रास को भी डाल ले आतो मंडो न्यू ब्रिज़ जाला आतो ब्रिज़ आची अगर ना पहली न्यू ब्रिज़ नष्ट लो तो अन्ना सावर डिचे लोग कहाँ गैरादारी कर बाकुप त्रास सता ले इन 1961 आंग गोवा गोवा लिब्रेशन जाले यानी जन्ना पुर्तुगीज़ आंग दाऊनापाक भारत मैं उन गायांग दे वाले और दे बड़े गांव जान दे वाले ऐसे एडी जान तो शेष और दे तेज एडी जान दे वाले सब वाले गायांग कैप्चर के ले अरे पुर्तुगीज़ जांग लाश डाउन ओपक बोले ले जाना पुर्तुगीज़ जाने सौगे ब्रिज उड़े ले सब वाले जे सौगे ब्रिज उड़े ले पुणे कुछ ब्रिज उड़ो तो ब्रिज गोया एक कुछ ऐसा अने ओ पुर्तुगीज़ जान बानुन पुर्तुगीज़ आम का गोया गोय कारां गिफ्ट करुन गए ले आ अच्छी काय मुड़पा घर कतना शुगाम्स अ कली उन्हें कुंसिम्स अमर नाइक के नूर फलो उन पोकु द स्टोरी द कली पेड़ जैसा तो कुवागा पेड़ मुंडा, अने अंशे इम्पोर्टेंस में ये पेड़ जैसा तो पाइक देव जो हम तो देवस्थान जा सकलो, सब सगले अंशे लोग कांचे रखन कर दालो, अने पाइक देवान अंशे हैं सगले रखन दो, लान ते खाली पाइक देवाज अंशे पूज्य कर दालो, अने ये स्ट्रीम में लाके जैसा कि अंशे जन में हम कर्नाटक का उसपास और डोंगर जो वेस्टर्न गार्ड जो डोंगर है सा ये डोंगर आवेल ने क्रॉस करो उसपास पर डाल देंगा कि जब मेन जी सेक्युरिटी रहा था ली थी मेन रोड रहा था ली अने राना जी अस्सले के ना सेक्युरिटी अस्ना था ली त्याते कर्नाटक का जा किने सामान आड़ पाक किने माल आड़ पाक लोग और राना रोड यूज तेरे एक जब ग्रामीण जब गांव चीज़ जब कौन लोग आसार लोकल्स तेरे एक माल आटे दे पक दर्द की तेरे एक तरह मारता ले ना लेकिन माल सब लोग काटूं गे ताले अंत जगह तेरे आपले माल खंचले अंदर सेफ फूर पास आए अपुन आटो माल आपले घरां सगरां पाव पास आए कि तेरे अंसे पहली दंद भी कहे ना थल्ला 
आणि हेजे आणि एक म्हणजे सांगा म्हणल्यार की जेन्ना गोवा आमगे पोर्तुगीज मुक्त झालो तेन्ना किती झालं की पोर्तुगीज सैनिक आणि गोवा जे लोक आहले गोवाचे जे क्रांतिकारी जे कोण झगडताले त्यांचे मध्ये झगडी जाताले आणि जेन्ना गोवा मुक्त झालो तेन्ना हंगसर पोर्तुगीजा जे आहले हंगसले ह्या वाठाराचे सैनिक असताले पोर्तुगीजाचे त्यांना अकस्मात वचपा काय मेळणे झाले पोहन वचपा मेळणे झाले आणि त्या खाती तेणी किती केले की जे गावचे जे त्यांना लोक बडयताले मारताले त्यांना किद्या गोयचे लोक पोर्तुगीज सैनिका मारताले तेन्ना लिबरेशन जाले म्हणटगी आणि त्यांना तेणी ते हंगसर हे सगळे सैनिक येऊन हंगसर लिपलेले तेणी हंगसर लिपोन आश्रय घेतलेलो पोर्तुगीजाचे पोर्तुगीजा जे सैनिक आसले ते सगळे हंगसर येऊन लिपलेले तेणे हंगसर येऊन सगळे आश्रय घेतला तेणी हंगसर वेपन्स बी सगळे हंगसर आसले आणि मागीर किती केले गोवा गोवर्मेंटा मी सरकारान मागीर इंडिया सरकारान मागीर तेंका ते मागीर असे जे लिपले कडे आसले तेंका मागीर हंगसर सेक्युरिटी देऊन मागीर तेंका आसले तसे मागीर परत येले आता मी जे असं उभे हे सांगे तालुक्याचो काल कालिगाव आणि ही जी देवी असा एक सातेरी देवी म्हणतात हंगसर एक लागीच एक कलनाथ देवस्थान असा जे शंकराचे असा ते भरपूर ही जी दोन्ही देवस्थान असा ती भरपूर पहिलीच्यान म्हणजे हंगसर जे ते राजे बी सगळे असतात त्यांना ती सगळी देवस्थान असा आणि ही सगळी जागृत देवस्थान असा हंगसर किती मागणी केल्या सगळी केल्या हंगसर पावता लोकां जे स्ट्रक्चर जे नसतात ते सगळे मोडले कडे असा आता लोकांनी किती केलं की ही देवी हंगसर सायडीनची उरता त्या खाती एका हंगसर ही देवी असा ती कलनाथ जे देव आमगे देवस्थान असा ते सगळे कालीन गावचे जे देव दैवत असे म्हणतात काले गावचे आणि ही देवी हंगसर व्हरपा लोकांनी ट्राय केली आणि हंगसर सांगणी करून घेतली तशी प्रसाद बी घेतलो देवळांक पण ही देवी किती म्हणतात की आपण हंगसरला हाल म्हणतात आपण हंगसर पहिलीच्यान हंगस असले बसलेली आणि आपण हंगसर बसतो म्हणून सांगले तिणे आणि ती हंगसला हाल म्हणून सांगल्या त्या ते हे देऊळ आता हंगस असे उरताले हे देऊळ जे मोडले कडे जे असा ते सध्या लोक बांधपा म्हणून ट्राय करताले पण हे सगळे एरिया जे असा ती वाईल्ड लाईफ सेंच्युरी अंडर येतात आणि ती वाईल्ड लाईफ सेंच्युरी अंडर येल्या कारण हंगसर काहीच बांधकाम काहीच करपा मेळना काहीच बांधपा मेळना आणि त्या खाती अशी उरल्या आता मुखार जर देऊळ जर बांधून झाले जर देवा कृपेन झाले जाल्यार बांधून जातले नाही अशी उरपाची सगळे देऊळ This temple at Kale seems to be uh, collapsed rather than destroyed by Portuguese because by the time Portuguese conquered this area, the uh, power of or the cruelty of inquisition has already been stopped and that is why we find and whenever Portuguese people used to uh, attack or destroy any temple, they used to first destroy the sculptures and in this particular case, we find sculptures are well preserved. So probably it reflects the sculptures are well preserved and the temple is collapsed because of lack of maintenance and ignorance by the people. People might have worshipped or people may, may be still worshipping this particular place, but once in a year or twice in a year does not help for maintaining or protecting or preserving any heritage structure. So that is why we find this particular temple might have been collapsed rather than destroyed by the Portuguese. Seguimos para um santuário no meio da vida selvagem dedicada a Bhagwan Mahavir. Este santuário é uma grande atração para os turistas com uma formação geográfica única e uma vista muito bonita. A seguir a este santuário selvagem, chegamos a Tamrisunla. Aqui encontramos um templo do período da dinastia dos Kadamba. In a village Tamrisunla, temple located in a thick jungle patch, uh, which is dedicated to Shiva. And this temple was originally built during 11th or 12th century AD. 
when Goa was ruled by Kadamba dynasty and which was ruling from Belgao district of modern day modern times and since then we find the temple has survived through several centuries. The sculptural wealth which we can see at Tamdi Surla includes various uh, panels de uh, describing Shiva worship as well as Vaishnava form of worship. The entire, uh, when we look the entire structure at Tamdi Surla, we find most of its part is incomplete. The outer surface of tower and the most of the panels from the outer surface of the tower are left incomplete. When we enter the temple, there are different pillars of different shape and sizes. This is a typical style which, is, which has got influence from Hoysala style of architecture, wherein soapstone, which is scientifically known as talc chloride schist, is used, which is very good for sculptural decoration as well as intricate carving. During the time of Kadamba rule, it was part of a trade route which connected the Belgao district to the Goa. Goa was having international ports at that time. So it was a kind of trade route which connected uh, port to the capital of Kadamba dynasty. And that is why we find uh, the such temples are built across the trade routes. Though the present day situation of the area is uh, totally under vegetation, thick patch of jungle, but during that time it was not the case. The last operation is in the Cascata de Dutsagar. É a quinta maior cascata da ilha. A água, acumulada durante a monção, faz com que esta cascata atinja o seu expoente máximo nesta época. Sagami in this are don't mar e cut marta, un can not third customer eight a la don marta. In third shang eight a la foreigner foreigner third eta, Russian eta, England eta, third sheta, who by sheta gesta. Yamka the business amga salta the gesta eta, Indian eta, so let us. Every day, I can now eat a cake this a cabaret at a cake this panna sati with a tamche divine amta Indian guest of Hubelia. The attempt to I saw rotation cabarata. Other than rotation cabarata. Amche stand up and stand up as a ninety eight jipasa. Time direct ninety eight jip, some year road axeleta. आमी सध्या सांगया तालुकार आसा आणि वॉटरफॉल पोबायला दुसागरार आऊ खूप फाडी पाला वॉटरफॉल पोबा आणि खूप जण गेस्ट येता फॉरेनर 
हंगा आनी खूब एंटरटेनमेंट जाता वॉटरफॉलार वो फिफ्थ इन वर्ल्ड दिस्त माका लार्जेस्ट वॉटरफॉल फिफ्थ इन इंडिया सॉरी आनी हा वॉटरफॉला पोपा लोग भरपूर गर्दी ये इंडियन ये फॉरेनर ये गोयकार सुधा खूब जान आनी वो एक बड़ा टूरिस्ट स्पॉट जला दूदसागर Chegamos ao fim de mais um Contacto Goa. Espero que tenham gostado de conhecer esta taluca ou concelho de Sanguém com uma história que remonta mesmo o século XI. Agora só nos falta uma taluca, a taluca de Quepé. Se quer conhecê-la, junte-se a nós daqui a 15 dias para mais um Contacto Goa.